appreciate everything you said, Coach Coach Winnie. Um, it sounded a whole lot like Tommy Bowden. And I'll tell you one thing, Tommy Bowden didn't make the same amount of money as you do. You make $11.5 million a year. Um, that's second in college football, if, I, if I'm not mistaken. Um, I'm curious uh, why that salary has led to a 4-4. Four and four. And I know we're going to talk about you know, just being a couple plays away from undefeated and all that. Um, and I know you're a man of religion. I'm, I'm a big fan. Coach, um, before you, you categorized me as a, you know, being in the 1.5%, I was going to Clemson games, and my entire family going back generations has been going to Clemson games before, you know, when you were in commercial real estate. So I don't. I'm, I'm not going to accept being in that 1.5%. Um, and I, I respect the fact that you're a man of faith. Um, I'm curious uh, if you've ever read Proverbs 16, 18, which talks about pride coming before the fall. Um, I used to, I, I was in the military and I, uh, I uh, was overseas for the big run. Um, and so I, I couldn't, couldn't watch all the games. I tried my best and, but I always watch your press conferences uh, just for life advice, and I appreciated all that. Something changed after 2018. Um, you're, you're humble, you're hungry, and everything. And I, I always told people, man, Dad, but just listen to his press, press conferences. But after that 2018 national t- title, something changed. And there seems to be a lot of arrogance that came in. Um, there's a lot of friends and family. I mean, three of the ten on-field football coaches are external, experienced hires. Everyone else was an internal hire that had no experience before or was a former player um, or friend. So I'm curious, why are we paying you $11.5 million to go 4-4? Four and four? And it's not just this year. It's been, it's been you know, just a refusal to accept. All right, all right. What's your last name? Tyler. Hey, Tyler. I've, I've listened this to enough Tyler. of you, Tyler. Listen, uh, you can you can have all your opinions that you want. All right. I don't know how old you are. Don't really care. All right. But let me tell you something. Uh, we won 11 games last year, and you're part of the problem. To be honest with you, because that is part of the problem. It's people like you that do that. All you do is the, the appreciation. The expectation is greater than the appreciation. And that's the problem. And so, you know, we've won 12 10-plus win year seasons in a row. That's happened three times in 150 years. So if you want to know why, Clemson ain't sniffed a national championship for 35 years. We've won two in seven years. And there's only two other teams that can say that, Georgia and Alabama. Okay? Is this a bad year? Is this a – yeah. And it's my responsibility. Take 100% responsibility for it. And all this bull crap you're thinking, all these narratives you read, listen, man, you can have your opinion all you want, and you can apply for the job, and good luck to you, all right? But to answer your question, all right, we're second in draft picks. We've graduated 98% of our guys. We're second in wins, all right? We, we, if you, you want to know why, again, I'm telling you, we're not perfect. There's a lot of things that, you know, Frank Howard never had a bad year. Coach Ford never had a bad year. Nobody, Coach K has never had a bad year in basketball. People have a bad year. But the part of the problem is the appreciation. I used to tell people all the time, they'd say, what's the difference in Clemson? Let me tell you, at, Cle- at some places there's an expectation, but at Clemson there's an appreciation. And what's happened at Clemson is, is we've won so much that even when we – it used to be the funds and the winning – now, even when you win, people like you complain and criticize the coaches and question everything. You, you, people like you, all right, when I hired Tony Elliott to be the offensive coordinator who never called a play in his life, I'm sure you were critical then, all right, and he took us to two national championships. People like you who just destro- love to, to destroy people with your comments, all right, I'm sure you've never made any bad decisions. I'm sure you've lived a perfect life. I'm sure you've never, I'm sure you've led a bunch of people. I'm sure you do your job in front. So to answer your question, 
I started as the lowest paid coach in this freaking business, all right? And I'm where I am because I've worked my ass off every single day. And I ain't going to let some smart-ass kid get on this phone and create this stuff. So if you got a problem with that, I don't care, all right? It, I work for, for the Board of Trustees, the President, and the AD. And if they're tired of me leading this program, all they got to do is let me know. I'll go somewhere else where there is an appreciation, all right? It's not just winning. It's how you win. And we are in a – this is a tough year. But we've had 12, 12, 10-plus win seasons in a row. 12. We lost to Tennessee last year. They won 11 games for the first time in like 20 years. We've had 8, 11 win seasons in, in whatever, 11 years or whatever. We've won two national championships. Clemson went 35 years. All right, probably since before you were born your whole freaking life. And we've won two in seven years. And we earned it. And we beat the best of the best to do it. The best of the best. 12, 10 plus win things. So if you want to know why, that's why. Am I perfect? Nope. I'm far from it. I am a, and I am a man of faith. Absolutely. All right? 